Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brotherhood Open. We are live, hopefully on feature. On the uh, left hand side we have Jamie the Kid 00, also known as Jamie Walkinshaw. And on the right we have Ian Wembridge. Uh, my name is Will Lucas, also known as Olympio. And today my co-host is... Steve Murphy, how are we all doing? Steve Murphy. So, today we're uh, hopefully looking to have a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and the first match we have Shadow uh, Performer Mages versus Ritual Beasts, as you can see. So Jamie on the left with um, with the right. shadows, and then on the right we have Ian playing the Ritual Beasts. It's really serene and majestic, but also so yeah. Here we go. It's gonna be fun. We we currently have two hundred and twenty one players one, yeah. today. Absolutely amazing. Really happy um, with the turnout, and it's it's just going to be so interesting. So start it off. We have. Jamie dropping one of the mages and uh, the yeah, hedgehog uh, with the shadow uh, fusion to bring out the construct. Construct's obviously then going to activate and hedgehog as well, so that is all good. So hopefully you can uh, all enjoy the stream today, um, having a lot of fun. And uh, let us know what you think of the stream, let us know what you think of just everything. Um, because we're going to have a lot, a lot of fun today, as I said. Oh, he's adding the schematic from the hedgehog. Send. Send. Send in the beast. Yeah. And send in the beast. Okay. okay. From construct. It kills me. Believe me. Okay, so that's going to net him a draw. So he still has two cards in hand, three cards in hand total. He also has a Raigeki, Skullmata, and I can't remember the last one. Is Hedgehog, and then he draws into probably a core, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. So he's banished one of his. Performer mages. Um, so, if you don't know what that is, that's uh, you can banish a uh, performer mage to search out a uh, performer mage from your deck, um, and it adds Trickland, which is such a strong card. Um, I don't believe he's playing uh, the. Uh, no, he's not. He's not playing the um, the blade version of this. Let's say um, so. It's, it's just dolls and the um, and the actual clowns. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Um, I wanted to get Jamie on because I know that obviously he's a very good player, um, and I wanted to make sure that we had an interesting deck as well. So this is kind of a hybrid that you can see. So next up we have a uh, Mr. Hat, which if you have two or more monsters on the field, you can special summon it from your hand. It's a level four, and so he can make a rank four play here if he so wishes. And Jamie does have a giant hand, so this could actually be a very strong opening from it. That was the reason. piece of dolls came out. I was being, I was trying to slow roll to build the deck. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah thank you for everyone who's joining us. Hopefully we can get a good amount of people on the on the viewing part today. Um, like and hopefully you can enjoy it all. Two L shell fusion, one core, three three fusion. In this position, if he came base second, stuff, but no, no, or if he uh, went second, he would have got so the new new uh, uh, rare card. Um, no, it uh, came out in the last set. Uh, you detach mm, one. Uh, you can target one monster and attack twice, so it'd be uh, literally be an OTK. But uh, unfortunately, he is going first. He is so going first. So it, is a good setup. So there it is. So he, does, he does have the giant hand on the construct, which is very, very strong, um, and quite a quite an interesting play as well. So ritual beast here. It looks like it's a solemn warning. It's MST trample tribute. Uh, can't see what the other one is, uh, and then two ritual beast monsters. It's finished. He's like um, what's it called? Castor. Yeah, so first up we have uh, Elder, which is going to summon itself. So the need normal summons again with the effect, uh, and he summons out uh, Canahawk. Canahawk. Um, for instance, if I tag out with. Monster. Is it off the field? So Jamie's just uh, possibly being so tagged, tag um, yeah, seeing that. if yeah. he doesn't really have a response. Um, there's a lot of back row there. Um, for him. So there's contact fusion, and um, <coughs> excuse me, it's probably going to be the uh, the big kind of horror. Uh, oh no, it's pink dolphin. Pink dolphin. So here we have a, a propellant. It's going to be a long game. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I just call it Pink Dolphin. Pink Dolphin, we'll go Pink Dolphin. That's very strong, TT, MST, warning. 
and uh, I can't remember the other one. I think it might have been possibly a. Um, I think it was one of the trap cards. It might have been ambush. I, I think, think it was. Nothing in your So we'll see how this goes. So Pink Dolphin has a two eight defense, which um, would technically nullify it from from construct if it were for constructs. Yeah. Effect. Unfortunately. So if you can hear anything in the background, that's the rain. We're kind of in like a summer house. It's really weird. Um, a <laughs> little greenhouse for us too. Um, but yeah, so if you don't know about tournament, tournament uh, today uh, is going to be the first prize is a giant hand. So Jamie already has a giant hand. So, so do I, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then uh, the second place is the Ascension of the Sky Dragon. Third place is 70, uh, 75 pound store credit. Uh, and then fourth place is fourth to eighth is a uh, 50 pound store credit. I think it is. So. But instead, if you don't want the giant hand, or you don't want the Ascension Sky Dragon, there's always four, uh, what is it, 400 pound store credit. Yes, 400 pound store credit. And uh, from Ian here, that's pretty big. Adding the, uh, adding the, um, sorry, contacting out to to bring them back out, but also having the defusion is pretty big. So he's, yeah, he's making the TT play here, which is pretty big. Jamie has Soul Charge in his hand, I think. Everything is banished. Yeah, everything except the uh, set Because yeah. I was like, I'm going to do that, and yeah. So that looks like he's going through because Jamie doesn't look like he can do anything. Um, but there does. So it's a head charge as well. Wow, that's pretty big. And uh, these two, look, I'm pretty sure they're friends, they know each other, so they're just having a bit of a laugh. And they're laughing a joke. So I want to know what you guys think on the stream. Do you, uh, do you enjoy the, uh, the matchup, or is it just something that you kind of already seen and bored with? Um, but so we're look, looking at the field now. He's, uh, Ritual Beast Ian has established a very strong field. Um, and Raiden. That Raiden. Um, Raiden under. Fusions. Which. Um, I don't think it can activate its effects, can it? Technically? Uh, because uh, Defissure uh, banishes monsters. And we you don't, don't know if it's a mill. Um, you don't know if there's going to be anything. So I think so technically you can't use it. Use it. So I'm not sure if I'm right about that, though. I'm not sure. <laughs> I will have to check. I'm just going to stop them just to make sure. I'm making sure I'm not going to activate this. Because um, I know it's with um, some of them, it's a cost. Yeah. yeah. You can You're just going to check that for you guys. Your main phase is that cost cannot. Sending uh, resolution, so I should have done the resolution. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Can we go to the yet one sec? It's a resolution. It's about this, yeah? Yeah. It's a resolution. If you can't pay the cost, then that's not good, as far as I'm aware. I was under the impression because you're milling, you don't know what you're going to hit, so therefore it technically can't. Okay. Would you want me to reverse the game in that case? What, what was the volume that you found? Um, it looks like it says it can't do it. Okay. But I can double check with Hedgehog as well. Um, I prefer if you don't. Yes, no, oh, I, right. that's why I know it's not around. I, I might be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's the case, it's a reversible game state because that was. I'm just getting an official ruling. So we'll uh, under Raiden versus Fissure. If, if I've messed up, I don't know. The correct play would be the correct way to move would be to put them back as they were. Yeah. Which is problematic for me because that's two bad draws coming up. Yeah, yeah. under this. Yeah. I'm sorry if that's the case. No, that's all good, Jamie. I think you're trying to pay a cost. Yeah. But so. it's really weird. Yeah. Because I'm not sure if I have to be like a card. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My mistake, that's fine. It's We're a good, different yeah? one, so carry yeah. 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 It is, it is nice having personalised judge though. Yeah. Sorry about that, I was just double checking something, the effect does go through, so it's fine. Um, just I just wanted to make sure we want to keep the stream yeah, as, uh, you know, want to keep it as good as possible for you guys. So, uh, but, I would have thought Jamie would know anyway, but I just wanted to be double check and make sure, so that is fine. I remember the lockdown when it was uh, Fissure and Grave Keepers. Uh, one way you have to Office send the top screen. card of your deck the to the graveyard, but you can't send it under the fissure because uh, when you attack, it used to be a lockdown, it used to be very yeah. fun back in the old days. It's very true. So Jamie's just having a think here. Um, so with the Radiant, he milled the uh, Falcao, Falcao? 
Falcao. Falcao, the football player. Football player. <laughs> Falcao yes. and a core. And now he's activating the soul charge, and we shall see how much he is going to uh, gonna pay here. How much do you think? Because looking at his grave, he has a he has the school martyr. Because I wonder if he's he's going to be met with uh, some pretty painful back row here though as well. Yeah. Because there is a solemn warning. There's and, a solemn uh, warning. Um, I believe he solemn warning. So he's going to solemn warning it straight away. Not even uh, let Jamie even consider a move there. He could. To be fair, he could have done it. Uh, and then Jamie might have gone into a, I don't know, a scrap dragon to try and clear, or his back row, or an Arcanite Magician. Yeah, it is very possible, and that's uh, the end phase, both of them getting uh, banished there. And uh, Ritual player is going to, Ritual player is going to tag out. Can I hold some Yeah. It's almost like I can turn, can I turn on? So, yeah. he's going to uh, banish from Death Hole, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think, so. Hopefully diving back in again. Okay, tag out. And he's going to tag out once more, tag so you can okay. see how it's going. This is in, in his turn now, I do believe. Um, so he can start all of his shenanigans. So you can see the, the deck does have things like a catch okay. trap hole and all that. Actually, uh, when I got back into so it's it's going to be interesting to see what he banishes, banishes the when. <laughs> I do believe that is. Uh, I had him at my house for an entire night, and we ate out of the back. Have you, have you had much experience with Ritual Beast as well? Oh, yeah. oh, it's Laura, sorry. Not <laughs> It I think it's Laura. Really yeah, it's Laura. But I came out knowing... Um, have you, yeah, has he had much experience oh. with them? Um, not really. I'm not really a big fan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one more combo, that's my problem. One more combos indeed, yeah. And there, there are a lot of them. So here we have uh, Ulti Canahawk coming in. Um, and he's just going to select which, uh, which effects he's going to be activating here. So we are in uh, 11 minutes in and it's uh, 8,000 to 6,000. Um, but very much the Ritual Beast player on top. Um, I would not be surprised if he <laughs> did uh, take this game yeah. and uh, he adds steeds to his hand. If you know what steeds does, if you control a ritual beast yeah, monster, yeah. destroy yeah. monsters on the field up to yeah. the number of ritual beast yeah. monsters you can control. Yeah. So he currently he has two and obviously it, it wouldn't be uh, useful to activate now, but it's for follow up plays and yeah, it's pretty big. So Jamie's just putting a counter on to make sure that he can keep track of everything yeah. that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So Ulti Canahawk comes out once more. You can see uh, how these ritual beasts work. They're just very consistent. Um, and you could argue very annoying. I personally don't like playing against them. <laughs> no. A lot of people say it's the, the new Infernity. Oh, um, I didn't like Infernity either. No, nah, a lot of people didn't like Infernity. <laughs> a lot of people cheat. So everything has been yeah, Infernity. setting those monsters set in the one trap. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people used to do that, and that was you quite irritating to watch. Shadow and Radamel Falcao. I like that. <laughs> Falco. Uh, that, that is Hacksaw Hughes, I, I do believe. No, no, and, uh, so that's, that's a, good, a good name. I do believe we need to change it to that. Okay, so Canahawk is currently on 1900. So we are 13 minutes in. And uh, the Canahawk is going to attack over the Raiden. Yeah, I'm also going to move those two random cards. So the Ultra Canahawk has um, gone up in attack, I do believe. So now it's on to Jamie's turn. Does do anything on normal? No, it's just So, summons the uh, Trick Lamb, which isn't actually going to help all that much currently, simply because um, it, it, its effect really can't be used. He's going to activate the Ride Yeti on the Ultimate Cannon Ball to see uh, if you can force anything out. So, usual shenanigans. So, if you didn't see what happened there, there was the contact fusion and then the right get you went through. So, Jen is one and two. And Trick Lamb is there. So, he's going to swing. Um, and the attack does go through successfully. Okay. You're in Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to grab the ones from Grave because that's yeah, the 
in the end phase as well, uh, I'm going to be really bad. Yes. We've, we've talked about this, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, yes, right. Yes. There you go. Yes. That's uh, the card I winched about, so it's okay. Oh, no. Um, so that one then is also... So, it's foolish. Card. It looked like it was MST. Sorry, didn't yes, no. Um, Can I Yeah. And I do wonder what the other set is for Jamie. I'm not entirely sure One what it is. One of them is the truck card. Ah, the... Okay. Do we know what Jamie's set was? Uh, no. It might be in the... Is it, is it the core? Mm. I'm not sure. No, I can't remember. Set the core in the grid yeah. to add the Shadow Fusion. Okay. It could technically be Shadow Fusion. Okay. okay. That could work, yeah. Can work. Yeah. So, yeah, Canna Hawk once more comes out. We've seen this card many a time. That's and now he's game two. Jamie's just going to scoop it up, which I think is the right thing to do. Um, simply because there's no way to come back from that. And uh, I just think that you might as well just go to game two, have the uh, possible first turn, um, because I do believe that it would be quite difficult maybe to come back from that. Um, I'm not sure. So, we look at the side decks. What, uh, I think straight away looking at Jamie's side deck, we had right. one card uh, that the, will certainly shut this ritual piece player down, and that is. Well, mistakes, mistakes are good. Uh, mistakes are good on, and the Imperial Iron War. So, Jamie has three mistakes sided, as well as two Imperial Iron War sided. And I do believe they're going to be coming straight in. So, by looks of it, currently for the first round, we have about 100 people tuning in, which is really nice. Hopefully, we can get it up higher. Make sure to um, make sure to share this for me. It would be really great so we can have more and more people tuning in. So now what do I change out? <laughs> I've chosen what to go in. Just your Ian. So, yes, what, what, what side cards does Ian have for this yeah, matchup? Right, so one Shadow Imprisoner. Side out leads everything. Yeah, like, this is, this is a really easy help. systematic side out for this. No, because no, no, MST. Like, no, nah, MST won't help. Soul Drain. Soul Drain's possibility. So, he's yeah. like, full Soul side. Soul Drain would be a really good shot. So yeah. The, uh, so Bomber Mage is terrible. It would certainly help. So, the side is Artifact Lancia. Um, Wavering He's Eyes, sure uh, Lights Lights Imprisoning Mirror, one no copy of that, two of uh, Flying Sea, yeah. one MST because yeah, he plays two in the main, uh, one Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, then he has three Traps yeah, Done, two Anti Spell Fragrance, and one Soul Drain. <coughs> Excuse me. Luckily, I, I've, I've been suffering from a cold recently. So I, all yesterday I was sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. I just, I just had such a runny nose, and luckily, touch wood, it's holding out for today. So, otherwise, you'd just be like, <laughs> um, that's it. so we are 18 minutes exactly into this round, and um, I think that. It probably isn't the most favourable matchup Jamie would want. No. He was telling me he it's either OTK or bust. Yes. And uh, I think I think that is the case. <laughs> and unfortunately, he isn't going to be able to OTK against something that really slows you down and shuts you down and just constantly spits monsters out into the field. So we are starting up here, and uh, we shall see who goes first. In this situation. You, there's, there's such a risk, you might want to say you get to let the Ritual Beast player go first, um, but the problem with that is he might be able to set up with, again, how we saw, the TT, the warning, but Jamie's going first and he's drawn that one copy of the Solar Recharge in the grave, and he hits Skormata, Hat, and a second Skormata. Oh, That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But the Shadows will get the effects because it's a cost, I believe. Yeah. So... Outside. We have the Raiden coming out, <laughs> and uh, depending on his hand, uh, the Raiden might come out just to see what more mills he can get. Um, but the charge was really good there, really nice to see him open. And uh, he has a trick line in hand, but yeah, the Raiden to get more mills um, is, is, is probably the best play right now. A foolish and wow. Yeah. So it's not really Jamie's day on the millings. As you can see, he doesn't look too happy. <laughs> And he's just gone to end phase. So, well, Lancia and the uh, yeah. Go ahead. the actually the damage dealer was pretty good because it means it is in his grave for next turn, so yes. he can use it. But looking at his hand, he's, wow, he's drawing the macro, the macro breakthrough, shit. and the uh, TT. Oh, so, so, so mirror yeah. of what happened in the first game, card, we have the Elder into the Canahawk. So that's stupid. And with four back row, 
I'm not sure. It depends on what's in Jamie's hands. If he has an MST, this would be really good. Um, but we're not sure just yet. But he did drop the maxi, so the yeah. kind of hope was normal summons with the Elder Effect. Um, and I can't see what other car other monster is in his hand. Um, but it kind of does stop Ian a little bit to see what he might do. Um, personally, I'm not sure what I would do. Because under Max C is a bit of a problem. In all fairness, you could just give him the net one um, to basically just get to tag out, to contact Fusion out and just sit on that. That's probably what's the best place going to be. Um, just reminds me of Gladiator Beasts. Yeah. Luckily, I wasn't in that format. Uh, I was taking a break in that format. <laughs> <laughs> but now Beast, yeah, what is it? Beast Diary to 3. Beast Diary to 3. Uh, is it 2, I think? Or is it 3? Two. Cannot remember. Okay. Tag up, so that's one. So, yep, yeah, he is going to contact Fusion out. Jamie's going to get a draw, and uh, he will just go a nice break even on that maxi. And that looks like that is bringing out Ulti of Helio. So Ulti Apelio is on 2-6, yep. attacking into the Raiden will do 900 damage, because I believe Raiden is 1-7. One 1-7, seven. One seven, yes. So Jamie's going to take a, a 900 damage here, leaving it on 7. So, Ulti Apelio and... With that back row. Four heavy back row. Oh, it's a torrential. Yeah, so yeah, it's a torrential so breakthrough and a macro cosmos. Wow. Set three and the card in the hand is the dolphin. Ah, Take dolphin. The so the actual pink dolphin. Okay, yeah. that's fair enough. So Jamie's going to draw, and I'd probably wait for them to activate the macro in this turn, um, because I would want to see if he wants to make a shut off fusion play, and then you can flip the macro. Because then you get the most bang for your buck out of the card. Just luckily, or hopefully for uh, Ian, hopefully he doesn't have the MST in hand, because otherwise that would be pretty painful. But he still does have the Breakthrough and the MST. So he has El Shadow Fusion in hand, okay. So he's banishing the Damage Juggler to search out uh, one of the Performer Mages, and this is the hat, which if there are two more monsters on the field, you can special summon it. Okay, so he's so I imagine Jamie's going to go for a rank 4 play next, um, ah, okay. but <laughs> the odds are stacked against him. Well, he's got Torrential set, he's got Breakthrough set as well. So, and the macro. And the macro. The, if, if Jamie tries to overextend, ch activating the macro, chaining the Breakthrough. Uh, sorry, activating the TT, and then chaining the macro would be big. But here comes down the right gate. So this could helping Ian's way. He's making a little bit of a grimaced face there. <laughs> uh, second time Jamie's drawn the Raigeki in his opening hand. And then we're going to after the tag out. Any response to that? So kind of the ideal play here would be to get a Winder on board somehow, but it's going to be very difficult considering what is a uh, So on the uh, on the resolution, or I think on the chain of uh, Right, yeah, yeah. Helio's so effect, possibly, he's activating the macro. Um, well, Jamie could, because uh, he has got a former mage in his hand, he can go El Shadow Fusion. Just need to, in case he hasn't got a shadow, which will be a bit grim. Yeah, um, we're not sure what he does ah, understand, he and he does. So, see if there's anything, he does have the TT, but if he does bring out the window, yeah. he would have to play it very cleverly. Yeah. So, he's um, construct. So he's going into the construct um, on the chain, so that's chain link three. So resolves, chain link three, goes to the grave, chain link two, macrocosmos, chain link one, the right geki by looks of it. And obviously, uh, Winder's going to have a separate chain for it to set. I mean, construct. Construct, sorry, not Winder. That'd be done. So the right geki goes through, and he gets back. I will go link one. So the new chain, and link two. Then James Yes. James just having a bit of a think here. Uh, what he could possibly do. He's possibly thinking about the trickle down effect. So this would leave him open and for um, to this. Uh, no, so the TT on the summon of the construct. The construct gets banished, so you don't get the effect. Um, but he is gonna bring out the uh, trick clown, so he's gonna take a thousand damage for that. 
If you don't know about the uh, the trick clown and the, uh, the basically the whole combo works is um, with Thousand Blades, uh, <coughs> you would activate um, trick clown's effect and then bring out because you take damage, thousand damage, so you can then bring out the uh, the Thousand Blades. Yeah. So construct being banished is a bit of a problem. So the Raigeki should be banished here, but it's not going to make too much of a difference, so uh, I'm gonna, just going to leave it. It's uh, Unless it happens in a further game state, but he's not playing anything like uh, Magical Stone Excavation or anything like that. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it. thing is, I just know that there's an ambush. So next, going to go for a rank 4 play and see what happens. We've got 50 minutes left on the round and uh, the Castell comes out. Is it the highest attack that he has? Uh, uh, oh, he was going to try and uh, try and banish, uh, sorry, bounce the macro back. But the breakthrough does come out. Breakthrough does get banished, so at least that is gone. Um, but he is going to take a 2,000 um, damage to the face. So it's looking a little bit better for Jamie, but the problem is that that macro is there. So hopefully he can try and maybe force um, force the actual damage on board. Um, he set the pink dolphin to see if... Uh, I, don't, I don't believe any of the ritual beasts have too much of a big defense. So we should feel pretty safe from behind the castell. So he must have set... Do you think, what do you think he would have set? Considering he's, he's the dolphin. Uh, I think the dolphin has 2,000 defense, doesn't it? Yeah. I might be. I might have uh, forgotten about that one. So yeah, the dolphin does 2,000 defense, which is pretty big, and <laughs> stopping the construct, uh, stopping the castell, right in its tracks. So it's a nice wall here for uh, for Ian with the dolphin and the macro. Dolphin effect, if you're just wondering, he's just reading it. It says, once per turn, you can banish one Ritual Beast um, card from your hand. Then target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. And you can only special summon um, the uh, Dolphin once per turn. So he's going to summon out the Apelio. And then activate the uh, effect of Dolphin to spin back. And then he's going to contact Fusion. Probably using the Ulti Apelio. Oh no, he's going to overlay into the... Wow, that's a strong play. That is a strong play. So Chidori's effect is going to spin the uh, set monster. Jamie's not shuffling here. Oh, because it goes to the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so he takes 1-9 to the face. Can Jamie come back with it? I'm not sure. It's actually quite a lot of damage to kind of deal with here. So here comes the Shadow Fusion that he it's has set. Um, I'm not sure what Ian actually drew, so I don't know what he has, but um, yeah, that's that's pretty big. Choose our targets carefully. Yeah. I'm just gonna think about what's in my brain. I need to be rushed right so I might be able to just, you know, make, make you use a hand you don't have. So sorry. Jamie's gonna send to the grave, or to the banish zone. Yes. Possibly for a construct, I would imagine. So he's going to send the Raiden and the Shadow Monster, which is Hedgehog because it's not going to be useful right now. Um, Jamie needs to find those MSTs that he has. Well, he only plays two in the main, and then I think you're... Jamie doesn't have... Does actually play it? Jamie doesn't actually play Mystical Space Typhoons. He has Fairy Winds, which I imagine he did side in, but... Yeah. This is looking painful for Jamie. So the construct um, comes out as we would have expected. And he's probably going to attempt to attack into that Chidori, which will just destroy it. Yep, and everything gets banished. And passes turn to Ian. Does Ian have anything? He has Steve. I think it's Steve. Well, yeah. yeah, that's the one he added. Ah. <coughs> yeah. 
Ambush. Oh no, sorry, it's Ambush. That's Ambush. It's ambush. 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 Target one of your uh, Ritual Beast Tamer monsters and one of your Ritual I'm Beast sure. monsters that are banished or and or in the graveyard. You special summon in defense position. Wow. Uh, after this card's activated, you cannot special summon monsters except Ritual Beasts for the rest of the turn, but okay. since he's doing it in the end phase, it doesn't matter. So he brings back Elder and Counterhawk. And then he's going to tag out. So Jamie's not looking too happy here as the rain picks up. Lovely rain here, if you can hear it. Apologies, there's not much you can really do. And So it looks like he's going to be adding another ambush. So they have 10 minutes left on the round here. But I somehow think this game won't go into time. I think Jamie will understand what's going on and uh, probably probably get rid of it. So the, the banished piles, we don't really mind too much. That's fine. Um, they, both players understand that they're banished. Um, and that's completely fine, so don't worry about that, guys. So, Pelio and uh, Lara, or Wen, comes out. So a lot of uh, thinking going on here, and he's just adding those, adding those traps, those power traps to his hand. Um, player saying everything should be banished. He's putting stuff back with the effects into the graveyard. So that is that is a legitimate play. That is fine. So basically, what they're also doing is just keeping track of what effects they've used this turn. So that's why there's uh, different banished cards. So he's just going through the motions here, just leaving the cards face up because obviously he's going to go through everything. Um, but so much anti-meta in this deck, it's unbelievable. So he adds uh, the, the penguin, Pingu as I like to call Pingu. it. Good old Pingu. I'm sure a lot of people know that. This is where I want it. It is really coming down here, really raining. It always seems to be one problem with the uh, the stream. If it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> it was a nice sunny day earlier. It was I've beautiful. Got the shorts on. I know it was a beautiful day earlier, but uh, now it is uh, it is absolutely pouring down. So the uh, kind of heart comes out. Oh, the ulti kind of heart. He's just talking over stuff. Jamie doesn't look too happy here. No. <laughs> this is probably going to be done and dusted very soon. Would you be happy if you've got that field and you've got nothing to deal with? I would not be very happy if that field was on board. I'd probably wait until my next draw phase yeah. to see what I would get and then uh, and then go from there. So the rain is really coming down. Welcome to Britain. This is how, what we do. We rain. So swinging for the uh, for the 14 there, I do believe it is. So leaves Jamie on 2,800, um, and he has so many cards to set. He's going to set everything. Wow. Five back row, ulti kind of hot, macro. Jamie's going to draw. Look at this card and probably offer the handshake because the way that he's handling his hands just doesn't look good. But it all oh, he has Shadow oh. Fusion. Must okay. be Shadow Fusion. Ooh. So he's going to tag out. Beast. So he drew into the light. He drew, he drew either light. into the beast or the light target for the construct. Um, but it's going to be very difficult uh, to see how this is going to go. So construct effect is going to activate, as, as we all know. Won't even bother sending constructs. 
Unless he just wants to thin he's his de deck he's out. He's definitely deck thinning. Um, getting rid of those hedgehogs is really strong, just because it means that you can open up to possibly uh, anti-floodgate cards that you might have in the main deck. Things like um, fairy winds, but I do believe it might be a little bit late. For that. So he's going to try and attack into the ulti of Helio, uh, and he is going to activate that steed. Yeah. So Jamie with on a 2,800 life points, uh, there's game on board basically. Jamie's just uh, passing turn. He's going to activate the uh, uh, Pelio's effect, and then probably going to activate the uh, the yeah. So yes. So we're now going to flood the field at this point. Um, if you do want to see certain decks on the stream, you're more than welcome to uh, to yeah, actually do it. But there it is. Jamie shakes the hand. There's nothing much you can do. Original Beast take a 2-0. And there is the uh, the uh, Imperial Iron Wall. But unfortunately, at that point, it's just too late. It is too late. Having the... Um, so we can see what actually things Jamie has sided here, just as a bit of an interesting thing. Two Fairy Winds. Uh, or, so, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Fairy Winds. The Imperial Iron Wall and the Lancia, um, but they really didn't help here, so that is that is unfortunate. But Ian takes it, and uh, that is it. So five minutes for the round. Oh, GG's nice. Third, third, third fairy wind. Should have third fairy. You never know how that fairy wind might have gone. So we are now going to go to an intermission for the next round. I hope you are enjoying it so far. Make sure to. Uh, pass it over to everyone uh, who can see, and I hope you enjoy some Final Fantasy music. So we'll be back with round two very shortly.